Hey people, Karius Cycles here and today we're gonna be taking a look at Breach and his abilities. I'm gonna be also be using the enemy's point in view so you guys know how it affects the enemies. You know the drill, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You can also drop some feedback down in the comments down below. You can also subscribe. I also do stream over on Twitch, I've been playing some Valorant, I'm also, I also play some single player games. Links in the video description for that down below if you guys want to chill or hang out over on my Twitch channel. Everybody's welcome there. Let's jump into Breach and see what he can do. So we're here in Split with Breach, we're gonna go be going over all of his abilities as well as how the abilities affect enemies, so we're gonna be jumping into the point of view of the enemy and showing how it affects them, so when you're pushing in after using your abilities you know what you're going up against. So we're gonna start off with Aftershock, so you equip a fusion charge, you fire the charge to set a slow acting burst through the wall, the burst does heavy damage to when I'm caught in this area. So how does this ability work? So let's shoot this little pot here so you guys can actually see how the ability works. So you shoot it, after a short delay, blows up doing heavy damage. The thing with this ability is you can shoot it whatever you want and it goes through the wall if it has an exit on the other side obviously for example here you can't really reach the other side because there's nothing there but if you use it over here you can actually do it but yeah you can shoot it from down low to high but this ability is actually mostly used to clear smaller corners for example if you shoot here you can actually see that you can clear the entrance to the sewers and if you shoot this wall for it you can clear the left side and if you're attacking Again, if you shoot this wall over here, you can clear the left side of the ramp before pushing in. And if enemies are actually in, in that position, you're going to be forcing them to reposition because it does heavy damage. Now let's jump into the enemy's point of view and, we're gonna sh and I'm going to show off two cases. One with full HP or 100 and then the second one with 100 HP plus the 50 armor. So you guys know how much damage it actually does. So in the first clip here you can actually see the target has no armor and full HP and a direct hit actually kills it. In the second clip you can actually see the armor has been bought and when you actually use it on an enemy they do get a heads up that the blast is coming so they can get out of the way but you can also see that a direct hit is also a kill. Alright we're back with Breach again and his next ability is called Flashpoint, so you equip a blinding charge, you fire the charge to set a fast acting burst through the wall, the charge detonates to blind all players looking at it. If you have played Phoenix, you know how this ability works, so it's very similar to Phoenix's flash, but the only difference is you don't need to be hugging the wall where you want the flash to exit. So if you use the map, you can actually see where it's gonna exit. I'm gonna use this wall for, as an example. It's actually fast charge. I think it's really similar to the activation on Phoenix's blind. But yeah, just like Phoenix's blind, you shoot. If you get caught in it, you get a little blind. But if enemies actually turn their camera around, they're only partially blind for an instant. So just like Phoenix, you use breaches flash before charging in. But at the same time, enemies can still shoot even though they can't see you. So if their sights are on the right spot, you actually might still get shot in the face. I mean, it's one of those things, guys. People can still spray, sp spray and pray, just hoping to hit somebody, even if they're blinded. So you always keep that in mind as well. And remember, you have two charges. One of the ways that you can see that the enemy is blinded is after you use it when you're running in, if you see their face has a white outline in front of it with a little X on top of the eyes, you know you've actually hit the blind. Alright, and then we're gonna move on to his other ability, which is called Fault Line. So you equip a seismic blast, and you hold fire to increase the distance, and you release to set off the quake, dazing all enemies in its zone and in a line up to the zone's end. Okay, so you can actually see the zone that they're talking about, So, and if you hold fire, the zone increases quite a bit, but it's a straight line. While you, this is active, you are slowed, and after you activate it, after a short delay, everything gets in that area gets dazed. It, actually, it also goes through walls, you guys can see, if you use the map, you can shoot it. Just position where you think enemies can be, and shoot it. And they, they get dazed. Now we're actually going to jump into the enemy's point of view so you guys can see the daze effect. So after using this ability and running in, you know how the enemy is actually seeing you. And that might help you actually fight it. Yeah, let's see how it looks. So there's three things that I want to show you both on but the first thing is that the enemy is slowed and there's a halo on around their head. The camera becomes a little bit blurry, but they can 
still see you and their vision, while blurry, gains a little sway, but the speed at which they can move the mouse remains the same, so they can still shoot you. The rate of fire is also reduced while under the dazed effect. Alright, we're back and his last ability is called Rolling Thunder and it's his ult, so you equip a seismic charge and you fire to send a cascading quake through all terrain in a large cone. The quake dazes and knocks up anyone caught in it. So it's very similar to Fault Line with the addition of the knockup and it being in a cone instead of a line. And again, use the map guys, use the map so you know where you're throwing your, your stuff. It goes through any terrain in a cone dazing and knocking people up, so this is how it, it looks. My ult's ready. After a short delay, it starts traveling through the little cone. We're actually going to be jumping into the enemy's point of view so you guys can see how this effect works. So I'm going to show the same clip in two My points of view. You can actually see the, the enemy being knocked oh, back and dazed, the dazed effect being the same as in fault line. Yeah, people, that's Breach and all of his abilities, how the abilities work, how you can use them, and how it affects your enemies. If you like this video, drop a like, maybe even subscribe. I'm doing this for all the agents in the game. I also do stream over on Twitch. I usually play some Valorant as well as some single player games. If you guys want to check that out, links in the video description down below. Everybody's welcome. That's Breach. Happy Breaching. Stay awesome, people. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.